Okay, topic number one in MLM three, the performance, heat balance, and efficiency test of a simple steam power plant, simple run hand cycle. So the steam, the simple steam power plant, ito yan. So from the coal, punta sa ng furnace, then bubuk ng coal maging apoy. Produce ng rubber yung water. Then, punta doon magiging steam. Punta doon sa turbine. Then, yung steam. Punta sa turbine. Produce ng power. Sa mga parts, meron tayong cooling power. Then, punta sa iba. So, the energy conversion processes. So, electrical energy generation using steam turbines involves three energy conversions. Extracting thermal energy from the fuels, fuel and using it to reach steam. Converting the thermal energy of the steam into kinetic energy. The boiler and turbine. So, the kinetic energy in the turbine and using a rotary generator to convert the turbine's mechanical energy into electrical energy. Now, racing steam, thermal sources, boiler, and fossil fuel plants steam is raised by burning fuel, mostly coal, but also oil and gas in a combustion chamber. Recently, these fuels have been supplemented by limited amount of renewable biofuels and agricultural waste, yung mga biomass. Nagdagan na lang. The chemical process of burning the fuel releases heat by chemical transformation, oxidation of the fuel. This can never be perfect. There will be losses due to impurities of the fuel, incomplete combustion, and heat and pressure losses in the combustion chamber and boiler. Typically, these losses would amount to about 10% of the available energy in the fuel. So the steam turbines, so prime mover, so, high heat pressure steam is fed to the bird turbine and passes along the machine axis through multiple rows of alternate liquids and moving blades. From the steam inlet port of the turbine towards the exhaust point. So, the blades and the turbine cavity are progressively larger to allow for the expansion of the steam. So, cross na kalina, drawing niya. So the stationary blades act as a nozzle in which the steam expands and emerges at an increased speed but lower pressure. So this is Bernoulli's conservation of energy principle. Kinetic energy increases as pressure energy fall. As the steam impacts on the moving blade, it imparts some of its kinetic energy to the moving blade. So it is not yet. Okay. So that means kahit ang mga solusyon niya, process niya, pag mali ang drawing niya, ano pa rin kaya. Okay, para kayong nag-benta, nag-i-explain, pero yung binigay niyo yung sample, iba naman pala. So, hindi ka rin mabibilhan. The condenser, isa na yun, ito. The exhaust steam, ito, from the low pressure turbine is condensed to water in the condenser, which is like the latent heat of vaporization from the steam. This causes the volume of the steam to go to zero, reducing the pressure dramatically to their vacuum conditions, thus increasing the pressure drop across the turbine, enabling the maximum amount of energy to be extracted from the steam. The condensate is then pumped back into the boiler as feed water to be used again. It goes without saying that condenser system need a constant ample supply of water, and this is supplied in a separate circuit from the cooling tower, which cools the condenser water, cooling water by direct contact with the air and evaporation of a portion of the cooling water in a open tower. Next, the electromechanical energy transfer, which is the generator. So the steam turbine drives the generator to convert the mechanical energy into electrical energy. So typically, this will be a rotating field synchronous machine. 
these machines and describe more fully in sections on generators or on topic of generators. The energy conversion efficiency of these high capacity generators can be as high as 98 or 99% for a very large machine. Ancillary system, may mga uh, other parts. Apart from basic steam basing and electricity generating plant, there are several essential automatic control and ancillary system which are necessary to keep the plant operating safely at its optimum capacity, including the matching the power output to the demand, current controls, maintaining the system voltage and frequency, keeping the plant components within their operating pressure, temperature, and speed limit, lubrication system, feeding the fuel to the combustion chamber and removing us, pumps and pans for water and air flow, pollution control, separating harmful products from the combustion exhaust emission, then cooling the generator, electricity transmission equipment, which is the transformer and high voltage switching, then the overload protection, emergency shutdown, and load shedding. Okay. Next, the UMB security is the Rankin cycle. The Rankin cycle is a model that is used to predict the performance of a steam turbine system. The Rankin cycle is an idealized a cycle, a cycle, beyond turbine lamp. It's an idealized thermodynamic cycle of a heat engine that converts heat into mechanical work. The heat is supplied externally to a closed loop, which usually uses water as the working fluid. In this cycle, the heating and cooling processes of course are constant pressure. So figure one illustrates the ranking cycle of this diagram, temperature, entropy, and the equipment used in the cycle. equipment. Following the cycle from state four, the water enters the steam generator as a subcooled liquid at pressure P. So the energy consumed in the steam generator raises the state of the water from that of a so-called liquid to that of a saturated liquid. The vapor leaves the steam and further to that of a saturated vapor at state one. So the vapor leaves the steam generator at state one and enters the turbine, where it expands as entropically to state two. It enters the condenser at this point and is condensed at constant pressure from state two to state three. At the state three, the water is saturated at the pressure in the condenser. And the liquid cannot enter the steam generator, which is at higher pressure, after its pressure is raised to that of the steam generator. So a pump performs this very easily in contrast to the compressor in terms of the consumption, and raises the pressure of the liquid to P, the steam generator pressure. The liquid is now a so-called liquid at the state four, and the cycle is complete. Problems would still exist if the steam entered the turbine as a saturated vapor. So in that, the moisture content of the steam would be too high as it passes through the turbine, resulting in liquid impairment and erosion of the bedding. So, ayasa sinosofer heat. So since Rankin cycle is characterized by constant pressure heating, there is no reason to stop heating the steam when it reaches the saturated vapor steam state. So it is on stand. The customary practice is to separate this steam to a much higher temperature, so then I am, figure two. Illustrate how the superheating ships, the isotropic expansion passes to the right, thus preventing high moisture content of the steam when it exits the turbine. A typical value for the temperature of the steam at the state one is 500 to 600 C. So metallurgical limitations prevent higher values. The pressure is not limited and a wide range of pressure will be out. So energy analysis of ideal Rankin cycle. Then, the steam's expansion ito, in the ideal turbine is as entropic. So the change in kinetic energy and potential energies are zero for the ideal cycle. And the turbine work is WT is M times S1 minus S2. So take note and mean that the acid is a big plate. The cycles are, yeah. The turbine work is open work for written in a unit mass basis. 
on by dividing equation 1 by the mass storage, which is the bullet is equal to x minus x2. So condenser, the steam vapor pressure at constant temperature and pressure, where the final state leaving the condition is situation between the changes in kinetic and potential energies of the steam are zero, so no work is done. Hence, the heat leaving the steam is QR is equal to F times S3 minus S2, or per unit mass basis, QR is equal to S3 minus S2, the symbol luminate. The condensed steam enters pump where the water is isotropically compressed to the boiler pressure. So, kaya ito, straight line dito. Ah, yung iba, tumatabingi, mga ganun, mga ganun, kukot. So, pag sinabing isotropic, this is straight line. Kaya, yung mga solution nyo, drawing pa lang mali na kasi hindi naman isotropic yung pinodrawing na. Ang solution nyo, isotropic. So, the condensed steam in the so the pump work is negative m times s4 minus s3, okay? Or unit mass is negative s4 minus s3 or s3 minus s4. Now the change in enthalpy of for isotropic process, d s equal to beta t p, and equation time becomes w sub p is equal to negative m times integral of b d p from four to one. If the water is considered to be incompressible. For the pressure range across the pump, the specific volume constant, the pump work becomes negative mv3 times p4 minus p3. Okay, this is 3 to 4 to R. Okay. Yeah. This is 3 to 4. So now, in the steam generator, it is added to the water at constant pressure. The changes in of kinetic and potential energy at zero, the work is zero. And the first law equation reduces to Q is equal to M times S1 minus S4, a unit mass. QA is equal to S1 minus S4. Now, the thermal efficiency of the cycle is the network divided by the heat added. It's equal to the turbine work plus pump work. So the efficiency is network divided by Q sub A. So this may also be written just in terms of heat as the algebraic sum of the cycle. Heat flow is equal to the network for a year in a whole cycle. So the network is equal to the sum total of QA plus QR, where QR is negative. Okay. So this is for the run and cycle. Example number one. A steam power plant operates on the ideal run and cycle. The steam enters the turbine at 7 megapascal and 550 C. It discharges to the condenser at 20 kilopascal. Determine the thermal cycle thermal efficiency. So this is a drawing. And this one is straight, is straight, but this two is straight. Uh, walang tatabingi. Pag soba ng tabingi, that is crossed out. Okay, so ito naman. So this is measurement megapascal, kaya kilo pascal. Okay. And Dito, pag sinabing cycle, kasama yung pump. Pag sinabing turbine efficiency, ito lang. Okay. So, given is the at 7 megapascal in 550C, entering the turbine, but this is discharge at 20 kilopascal. So, the required is cycle thermal efficiency. Solution, so dito nyo na ipapasok yung loading. Kasi hindi naman sa given. Okay. Pag ito given, so ilalagay nyo sa given. So, start na sa promised in turbine. Step turbine, same table. So, turbine inlet, state 1, is 7 megapascal in 550C. The S sub 1 is equal to T529.6 kJ per kilogram. S sub 1 is 6.9484 kJ per kilogram. KLB, ang units nyo, ah. The process of state 1 to state 2 is asentropic. Hence, S2 is equal to S1. So, at the state 2, 20 kilopascal, S2 is equal to S1. Then S of F is equal to 254.5 kg per kilogram. S of F is equal to 2358.4 kg per kilogram. S of F is equal to 0.8321 kg per kilogram Kelvin. 
S of FG2 is equal to 7.0773 Kelvin per Kelvin of Kelvin. B sub F2 is equal to 0.001017 cubic meter per kilogram. If not, pag nasa loob ka ng ano, with radio, so automatic, kunin mo na yung mga saturation properties. Kasi magsusol ka ng ano, quality. So S2 is equal to S1 is equal to S of F2 plus X2 S of F2. The substitute value is 6.9484 is equal to 0.8321 as x2 times 7.0773 and x2 is equal to 0.8642. Then f2 is equal to h of f2 plus x2 times h of f2. Uh, 251.5 plus 0.8642 times 2358.4 is equal to 2289.6 kilogram per kilogram. Then at the state 3, which is saturated, ito, liquid at 20 kilopascal. So H sub 3 is equal to S of F2 is equal to 254.5 kg per kilogram and V3 is equal to VF2 and ikaya natin kinuha yun dito. 0.001017 kg per kilogram. Then the enthalpy at 4 may be found as S3 is equal to H4 plus V sub 3 times V4 minus V3. So V4 is equal to 7,000 kilopascal or 7 megapascal. P3 is equal to 20 kilopascal. Baka gawin yung 7 minus 20. Bakit? So, H4 is equal to 251. So, this is... This is 251.5 plus 0 0.001017 times 7,000 minus 20. It's equal to 258.6 kilogram per kilogram. This is 251, right? So, yeah, this is now 258. Find the energy terms per unit mass. So, WT is equal to S minus S2 is 3529.6 minus 2289.6 is 1240 kg per kilogram. Then, the pump work is negative of S4 minus S3 is equal to negative of 258.6 minus 251.5 is equal to negative 7.1 kg per kilogram. Then, the net work is the sum. Is 1240 minus 7.1 is 1232.9 kg per kg. Then QA is equal to S1 minus S4 is equal to 3529.6 minus 258.6 is 3271.0 kg per kg. Then the cycle efficiency is E is equal to the network divided by QA is equal to 1232.9 over 3271 or 0.3277 or 37.7%. Can I answer more? Okay. The next, actual cycle. Factors contributing to cycle, irreversibilities, and losses. So, irreversibilities are associated with each of the cycle component and the piping connecting to the compon components to our system. So, we have pressure drop, we in the Fluid friction and heat loss to the surrounding are the most common causes of irreversibilities. In the turbine, the ideal expansion process is asymptotic. But as the steam flows to the turbine blading, fluid friction occurs, increasing the steam's entropy so it is greater at exit than at inlet condition. This is accounted for by the turbine internal or asymptotic efficiency. This value is determined experimentally by the manufacturer. So once it is known, the value may be used in computing the actual work the steam indicates it did. The turbine asymptotic efficiency is defined as N sub T is equal to S1 minus S2 prime over S1 minus S2. I thought, yeah, prime or prime. Pasok dun na. Ang actual sa pump for is palet, paparay. Ito naman, paray din. So, not sa paray. Walang papunta doon. Ito papunta dito. Okay? Okay, yan. Fluid flow and reversibility significantly reduce the turbine work and the network from the cycle. Heat loss from the turbine is negligible. The turbine's asymptotic efficiency is a determination of how well the available energy is used. Once the asymptotic 
efficiency of the turbine is known, the actual enthalpy of the steam of the turbine exit may be calculated. So in the pump, frictional effects more mean more work is required than ideal to raise the water pressure to a higher value. So frictional effects and fluid go through the pump and between the pumps and filler and the water increase the entropy. Again, the pump may be considered adiabatic as it less of negligible. So the pump Asyntropic efficiency allows us to determine the actual state of the water leaving the pump and to determine the entropy increase across the pump. Asyntropic efficiency, efficiency is n sub v is equal to h4 minus ht and prime nasa baba, h4 prime minus ht. In actual condensers and steam generators, There are also pressure drops. There is a pressure gradient across the condenser tubes. The discharge pressure from the pump must be greater than the boiler pressure to overcome the pressure drop across the valve in P piping to the boiler. So, pressure drop within the generator is caused by fluid friction. Sample number two a 100 megawatt steam power plant operates on the ranking cycle, but with turbine and pump efficiency of 85%. The steam enters the turbine at 7 MPa and 550C. It discharges to the condenser at 20 kPa. To determine the cycle thermal efficiency, the steam flow rate, and the cooling water flow rate in the condenser if cooling water enters at 20C and leaves at 35C. The time is given now, 100 MW, efficiency is 85%. The steam enters the turbine at 7 MPa and 550C. Condenser at 20 kPa, cooling water is 20 to 35 C. The required is that low. Cycle thermal efficiency is the flow rate and cooling water flow rate. The solution, so ito yung diagram mo. Yan yung mga prime, 1, 2, 2 prime, 3, 4, 4, 5. So sa turbine inlet, state 1, 1 MPa. Ayusin na tayo yan. Okay, so at, when, at state 2, SM2 is equal to 5.5, S of FG2 is 2.58.4, S of F2 is equal to 0.8321. Yan, so the value then, then is example number 1, X2, H2, ganun din. Ang bago lang tayo kasi meron tayo from the efficiency na 0.85, so S of F is equal to X1 minus S2 prime over F1 minus F2. Then 0.85 is equal to 3529.6 minus S2 prime over 3529.6 minus 2289.6. Then S2 prime is equal to 2475.6 kilogram per kilogram. Then at the state 3, it's rated, so the same. Example 1, state 2, then state 4. Then Meron tayong pump efficiency, so N sub P is equal to S4 minus S3 over S4 prime minus S3. So now 0.85 is equal to 258.6 minus 251.5 over S4 prime minus 251.5. And S4 prime is equal to 259.9. Then solve for value squared. WT prime is equal to S4 minus S2 prime is 3529.6 minus 2475.6 or 1054. 0 failure per kilogram. Pump work prime is negative S4 prime minus S3 is equal to negative 259.9 minus 251.5 or plus negative 8.4 failure per kilogram. And the network is 1054 minus 8.4 is 1045.6. So Q sub A is equal to S4 minus S4 prime is 3529.6 minus 259.9 is 3269.7 failure per kilogram. Now, the cycle thermal efficiency is E is equal to W net prime over QA prime is 1045.6 over 3269.7 or 0.32 So, less than the side sample one. Now, the flow of steam is found by dividing the total net power by the network per unit mass. So, M prime is equal to W net prime over W net prime my A prime. It's equal to at 100,000 kilojoule per second, this is 100 megawatt. Divided by 1045.6 kilojoule per kilogram is 95.6 kilogram per second. This is answer one.
Sa condenser naman, cooling water flow rate is perform a first to analysis on the condenser which yields mass of content cooling water is equal to M prime times H2 prime minus H3 over H out minus Hn. So Hn is equal to H sub F at 30 C is 83.86 kg per kilogram. H sub out is equal to H sub F at 35 C is 146.56. So the mass of cooling water is equal to 95.6 times 2475 minus 6 over 146.56 minus 86 is equal to 3391 kg of water per second. This is now the answer. So dito, itong water, pwede naman to the MC, pwede the TIS, but since available naman yung same table yung hawak na natin. Okay. 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 So the next part is combustion chamber. Combustion chamber is the most important part of the boiler. The combustor in a boiler is usually well insulated that causes heat dissipation to the surrounding on almost zero. It has no involvement to any kind of work. In addition, the kinetic and potential energies of the fluid streams are usually negligible. The only total energies of the incoming stream and the outgoing nature remain the same for analysis. The conservation of energy principle requires that these two equal each others that is shown in video. Fuel air is equal to blue gas. Okay. Uh, so, the method naman dito is your fuel. Right. 